everyone today i'm presenting you a wholesome car wash application this is an app that is switchable and easy to manage for both the users drivers as well as the admin therefore without wasting any minutes let us hop into the application so to begin with towards the left we have the entire admin panel and towards the right we have our application you will have complete access to managing the application via the admin panel hence you possess absolute ownership of the app thereby let us now explore each and every section let us start with the dashboard now the dashboard is one of the most intriguing sections for an admin as you will get a vivid glance of the total number of customers the total car wash booking count the total number of workers or drivers the total earning ratio the new booking count the sub admin manage along with the reporting management also besides this you will also get the graphical representation of the entire data pertaining to the total number of customers and total earnings in light of daily basis weekly basis monthly basis or even the yearly basis as well apart from that from this section you can have any and every glimpse according to your convenience you just need to sort and select and avail the data according to you moving further next up we have the manage customer section and from here you can manage all the customers in a very analytical manner however to understand this section with much scrutiny we will first sign up in the customers application so let us start with the same now to make a sign up you will get two options the one is the email address and the second one is the phone number so we will be going with the second one let's select the country code first okay now we need to fill in the phone number now we need to set a password for ourselves let us confirm the password now let us start with the signing up now you will get a otp on the registered phone number that we just filled in so let us fill the same here we go now you need to set your profile so let us now fill in the details starting with the name then the email address here we go let's submit now let us enable the location so that we can make our bookings easily so we are ready with our profile being set up so this is how the customer profile looks like let's go to the settings here you will get all these options now when we refresh over here you can see that the customer that we just created is visible over here with all the details starting with the name the email id the phone number the address we will be setting up this further while making a booking the car details this will also be set further while making a booking proceeding further you will also get a clear view of the number of bookings like whenever this customer make any booking you will get the details over here apart from this you have this special section known as the vip coupon now this section is for your premium customer you just need to click over add you can fill in the details and provide a special discount or coupon to your premium customer according to you apart from that you will also get the toggle button if enabled then the customer will be blocked and the customer will not be able to take any service from the application on top of that you get an action button from where you can edit view or delete the customer at your convenience on top of that you get this search option from where you can search for a specific customer manually and finally you get the option of exporting the csv file according to your convenience moving further next up we have the manage worker or driver section and for managing the drivers we have a whole new different application however you have the authority to add the drivers or workers according to you and then you provide your workers with the credentials to log into the application and then the customers can further book the same drivers or workers simultaneously sounds confusing right don't worry we will comprehend the entire process in a very precise manner so firstly we need to add a driver but before that we will also show you the overview of our drivers application so this is 
how our driver's application looks like but we need the credentials to log into the application so for that we will be adding a driver let us start by filling in these details okay now we will be filling in the phone number so for that let's select the country code first now we need to add the email id well the email id is a very important part over here because the credentials that will help the driver to log into this application will be sent over this email address so let us fill in this email address now okay now let us fill in the driver's address now the name of the document okay now let us upload the image of the document the back image of the document besides this we need to also set a profile image so for now we'll be going with a random image moving further let us select the expiry date of the document save the same now we need to add the bank details of the driver so let us start we will start with the account number okay let us now select the account holder's name that is our driver's name now the swift code now the branch name the bank's name okay let us save the same now our driver is updated successfully so if we go and check this email address we will find the password to log into the driver's application so as said we have now received the credentials to log in in the driver's application over this email address so let us now fill in those details starting with the email id first now let us fill in the password that we received the driver can also change the password if he wants let us log in now so you can see that we have no bookings available as of now and this is the page these are the details that the driver will be finding in the application apart from that you will also have the comprehensive access to managing the driver's information starting from the driver's profile picture the name the contact number the email id the address details the city apart from that you will also get the comprehensive details of the document of the driver the bank details the car wash booking details now this will be available when the driver will be assigned with a task on top of that you also get this toggle button which if enabled will block the driver and will and the driver will further not be able to receive any services from the application on top of that you have this action button from where you can edit view or delete the driver at your convenience on top of that you have the option of adding as many new drivers as you want you can export the csv file at your convenience and you can also search for a driver manually then under the same section we have the driver's report section so from here you can have a comprehensive glance on the reports of the driver like if any person does not like the service of the driver then the person can put a review and you can have a check on the same moving further now comes the most important module that is manage services now from this module you can manage the services in a very detailed manner so this is the list of the services that we have provided in our application now you can have the details of the services name the image the price the description the duration time that means what is the time till what the service will be lasting then you have the status so if you enable this toggle button then this service will be available for the users and if disabled then this service will not be available for the user on top of that you also get this action button from where you can simply edit view or delete the service comprehensively apart from that you can add new service at your convenience you just need to write the service name price description duration time submit and then you're good to go on top of that you can also export the csv file whenever you want and search for a service manually also then under the same section we have the manage add-ons module so from here you can add certain extra perks of services for your customers you can add additional services from here you just need to write select the service then write the add-on's name, the price, the description, submit and you're good to go. Now you also get this toggle button over here. Now if you enable this, this add-on will be 
applied as a default service and your user can avail this add-on without paying extra charges for the same and if enabled then the users or the customers will have to pay extra charges to avail this add-on. Similarly, we also have the search option from where you can search for an add-on at your convenience and also export the CSV file whenever you want. Next up, we have the Manage Booking module. So, to comprehend this module with much precision, we will be first making a booking. So, let us now switch to the customer's application for that. Here we go. Now, let us start making a booking. So, for that, we'll be going back to the home. Click over order. Now, we need to select the address first. Okay. Let us fill in these details. Click over submit. Now, our address is selected. Now, we need to select the car service. I mean, the service car. The details, basically. Now, let us proceed with filling in the details. All right. Let us save the car now. Now, our car is added successfully. So let us now select the service that we want to avail. So we will be going with the Eco Waterless service. Now let us select the add-ons. Okay, now we will be confirming the same. Now we need to schedule our service. But before that, we need to select the address. Okay. Now we need to select the dates, the time slot. Now this is the order confirmation and the details. So for that, we can also select the coupon codes. Let us wait for this to avail. Alright. Let us apply the same. We can see that the promo code is applied and we have got a discount. Now let us proceed with the payment. Now we need to add our card. The card number. The expiry date. The CVV number. Let us proceed. Now that our card is added, we will be proceeding with the payment. Let us wait for the transaction. Now we can see that our booking has been done. Now we can view the booking details. Here we go. This is our booking ID and we have all the details starting from the address, car details, service, the add-on that we avail, the booking time and date, the price details, the promo code that was applied and everything. Now let us go back to the admin panel. We will be refreshing the same. Now you can see that we have all the details of the booking that we just made starting from the booking ID, the customer's name, number, address, the service name. Then we have the add-ons. We can view, we can check the same, the car details. Then we also have the time and date slot. The tip, the coupon that we applied, the service fees, the total price, booking status and the payment status. Now from here, you need to accept or reject the booking. So if you accept the booking, we can see that this is now shifted to the accept booking section. And from here, you can find the details. Now you need to manually assign a driver. So we will be assigning the same driver that we just created. So let us have a look on the driver first. Okay, now we have assigned. Let us go back to the driver's application. So we can see that we have received the task for today. That is the details of the bookings comprehensively. Now when the driver is on board, he can just swipe right and update the status for suppose now. If the driver has swiped right, that means he is on the way. Then again, he has arrived and again. He has completed. Now we can similarly check the details that the booking has been completed. Here we go. All the details are available over here in a very comprehensive manner. So managing the service and application is very simple for the admin and the drivers can also have a clear cut access and management in a very easy manner. Going further, now we have the manage sub admin section so from here you can have a clear note on managing the sub admin that means you can add a sub admin whom you will be assigning certain priorities or access on managing the admin panel you can click on the accessibilities that you want to provide submit and then the sub admin will be added in a very comprehensive manner 
Next up, we have the manage revenue section. So from here, you can have a clear note on the entire revenue generated by your application by filtering the start and end date according to your convenience. You can also have a clear check on the total booking count and the total earnings. Apart from that, you can also have a clear check on the payments of the drivers, earnings and all the details in a very easy manner. See. Moving further, now we have the report management section. So this is a graphical representation that will help you get a clear cut data and information about the total number of customers in light of the daily basis, the weekly basis, monthly and the yearly basis as well. And same goes for the drivers or workers also. You can also get the details of the total booking count and the total payments in a similar manner. Next up, we have the coupon management module. Now, during the payment time, we found an option of adding the coupons. So those coupons are added and managed from here. You can add as many coupons that you want to provide your users with. Submit the details and save and the coupon will be added comprehensively. Apart from that, you can have a check on the discount name. That means the coupon name, the code number, the discount type, the value, the start and the end date of the coupon. And then you have this action button from where you can view the entire details of the coupon or delete the same at your convenience. Apart from that, you can search for a particular coupon manually and export the CSV file whenever you want. Similarly, the next module we have is the Manage Reasons module. Now, in case if a customer wants to cancel the service, so these are the reasons that the customer will be finding in the application. Now, from the admin panel, you can manage the reasons list by searching for a reason manually, adding a reason according to you, and also you can export the CSV file whenever you want. Next up, we have the notification section. So, if you want, you can also send the notifications to your users. You can manage the same, add a notification. You need to select the notification type if you want to send the notification to everyone or to customers in particular or workers or drivers. Write the title of the notification, type the message, send and then you will be good to go. You can also find the entire history of the notification that you have sent to the users or the customers. As we move forward with the admin panel, our next module is the Manage Reviews module. Now, from here, you can manage all the reviews that you find in the application in a very clear and precise manner. You will get the details of the booking ID of the person who has put the review, the username, the email address, the worker or driver's name on whom the review has been given, the services name, the ratings, the reviews. Apart from that, you can also find the date when the review was given and from the action button, you can have a clear check on the review's details and you can also delete the review if you find it abusive or obnoxious according to your application. And finally, we have the last section of our application that is the Manage CMS. Now from this section, you can manage the contact support. That means the details. Apart from that, you can manage the slots, the cancellation policy, the terms and condition, the about us, the privacy policy and FAQs in a very detailed manner. You can also add new FAQs if you want and whatever changes that you will be making in the admin panel will be simply reflected to our applications that is the customer as well as the driver application altogether. And that was all about our Carwash app admin panel and the application for the customers and the drivers all together. So you can see that it was extremely simple to use. Therefore, if you're planning to launch your own Carwash platform, then I recommend you to click on the link in the description and assist us in getting this panel ready for your business. We provide 100% customization. Therefore, if you want to integrate your own ideas and requirements, then you're free to do that. You can also email us your details or DM us on our social media accounts. Thank you.